Hatfield, Hertfordshire. A quiet autumn morning in the year 2000. Commuters, students and travellers board their trains, unaware that in just moments an ordinary journey will turn into a catastrophe, one that will change the course of Britain's railway history forever. This is the story of the Hatfield derailment, a disaster caused not by reckless speed, mechanical failure or driver error, but by an invisible enemy. Metal fatigue. At 12.23 p.m. on October 17, 2000, a high-speed Great North Eastern Railway, GNER Express, bound for Leeds, was approaching Hatfield at 115 miles per hour. The passengers were comfortable, unaware that beneath them, the steel rails were on the verge of catastrophic failure. Then, without warning, the left-hand rail beneath the first carriage shatters. The second carriage follows over the growing gap, but the third car derails completely, sending the rest of the train into devastation. Within seconds, four people are killed. Over 70 others are injured and Britain's railway system will never be the same again. At first, investigators were baffled. There were no reports of excessive speed. The train was modern and well-maintained. The crew had done everything by the book, but when engineers examined the scene, they found the answer scattered across the wreckage, hundreds of tiny, fractured pieces of track. The cause? Rolling contact fatigue. Just like a paperclip breaking after being bent back and forth too many times, railway tracks experience microscopic cracks from the immense pressure of passing trains. If not properly maintained, these cracks spread invisibly through the steel, until one day the rail shatters like glass. At Hatfield, the damage had been ignored for years. Rail track, the private company responsible for maintaining the tracks, had known about these cracks but failed to replace the rail in time. The derailment was inevitable. Hatfield wasn't just an accident, it was a wake-up call. In the aftermath, it was revealed that rail track had been systematically failing to maintain the network properly, prioritising profits over safety. The Hatfield crash became the catalyst for one of the largest rail overhauls in British history. The derailment led to nationwide speed restrictions, thousands of emergency track repairs, and ultimately, the collapse of rail track itself. By 2002, the British government had abolished rail track, replacing it with Network Rail, a non-profit organisation focused on safety, not shareholders. It took years to restore passenger confidence, and billions of pounds were spent fixing neglected track sections. But could it have been prevented? Absolutely. Today, the lessons of Hatfield live on. Railway maintenance procedures have vastly improved. Track inspections are now more thorough, using advanced ultrasound and AI technology to detect hidden cracks. The tragedy of Hatfield was a moment of reckoning, but it forced the railway industry to change for the better. In the end, the Hatfield derailment wasn't just about a single moment of disaster. It was about what led up to it and what came after. It exposed fatal flaws in railway management but also led to some of the most significant safety reforms in British rail history. Four lives were lost that day, but their memory lives on in the vastly improved safety systems that now protect millions of passengers every year. So the next time you step onto a train, know this. Behind the scenes, decades of hard-learned lessons are keeping you safe. If you found this story insightful, Make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more incredible stories from railway history. Thank you for watching and stay safe on the rails. Please like, share and subscribe.